Hello, hello, I'm Benjamin Cello. Come on in, my very special friend. There's Lolly Popular and her cheerful chums. Professor Wordsworth and his hungry bookworms. There's Cowboy Roy and the animals too. We're so happy to be friends with you. Hello, friends. I have something that I want you to see. This is so much fun. All right, so here are my fingers. Now watch the shadow. Caw, caw! <laughs> see, it's a bird. Caw, caw! I'm so excited about today. It's going to be a day like no other. We are going to Penny Whistle Park to see Lolly Popular and the Cheerful Chums and to celebrate Easter. Lolly Popular has invited a very special guest to mark the occasion. He's a friar from France. You might say he's a French friar. And he's also a troubadour, a marvelous singer and actor. Children love him and follow him wherever he goes. He calls them his troubadourables. His name is Brother Joseph, and everywhere he goes, he tells the story of Christ through shadow puppets. He calls it the Shadow of His Wings Puppet Theater. Do you know what a shadow puppet is? It's when you use darkness and light to create shadows just like we did just now. And you add artwork and music and voices until, oh, I just can't wait for you to see it. It's going to be marvelous. I'm taking my cello with me. Brother Joseph and I are going to make some music together. We'll go through the blue door to the land of the baptized imagination, Penny Whistle Park. Chinsa, and you even got the feet. <laughs> oh, wow, Audrey, you got a leg. Very nice. Oh, what a pretty yellow. <laughs> Brother Joseph, um, make yourself at home here in Penny Whistle Park. Benjamin Cello will be here soon. And Lady Iris and singer Sydney, and all the Troubadourables coming to see the Shadow of His Wings Theater present the Passion of Our Lord. We're so excited. Oh, Benny, that is what we are, blessed. Little children are the kingdom of God. I am almost ready. Oh, perfect. <laughs> oh, wow, David, these are looking so cute. Would you mind helping me for just a Certainly. moment here? <laughs> this is Claudette's. I'm going to set her down. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> uh, Allons-y. Oh. Un, deux, trois. Aha, voilà. 
my humble abode. <laughs> Parfait. <laughs> and we are practically shaking with excitement. <laughs> And what another beautiful bird. <laughs> yes, that is Anastasia. And she and Claudette have been laying more eggs than ever in celebration of this holy occasion. Oh, they must be very happy. <laughs> yes, they are. Oh, oh, and what a beautiful organ. It is my missionary organ. It has helped <laughs> me through many wonderful shows. I must confess, sometimes I get a bit nervous. <laughs> I have to warm up my voice. <laughs> well, uh, take Claudette, for instance. She gets a little bit nervous, too. She has a beautiful singing voice, uh, oh. mezzo-soprano. <laughs> I love her coloring. She's big. And to think, she was once a baby chick just like the ones we're making. <laughs> Why do we play with baby chicks at Easter, Lollipop? It's because of the way they come out of their shell. It reminds us of how Jesus came out of the tomb. That's right, David. They remind us of our risen Lord. Aren't they sweet? They're adorable. Look, I put lots of feathers on mine. It's beautiful, Vincenza. I think I'll name her. What a good idea. What will you call her? Mm, how about Sunny? That's perfect. Since she's so yellow, I think I'll give her pink lips. Pink <laughs> lips? Chickens don't have lips, especially pink lips. But pink is my favorite color, so pink it is. Chickens may not have lips, but they do talk to each other, so they must have lips. <laughs> Brother Joseph, do chickens have pink lips? Well, there are many, many kinds of chickens, David, but none of them have lips, per se. <laughs> but they do talk to each other. In chicken language, that is. Like, uh... uh... <laughs> <laughs> Before the egg even hatches, the mother hen is speaking to them. She coos and murmurs, and if you listen carefully, you can even hear the tiny little chick inside the shell saying, tweet, 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 right back to her. Wow, I'd love to hear that. <laughs> it is a sweet song. I love the way a mother hen protects her chicks under her feathers. He will cover you with his feathers, and in the shadow of his wings, you will find refuge. That is why I have named my theater L'Ombre de ses ailes, the shadow of his wings. Exactly. God wants to protect us just like a mother hen protects her young. When she sees her chicks are in danger from birds of prey or snakes or even rain, she fluffs up her feathers. Cluck, 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 the mother hen calls her young. Cluck, 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 come, come, little chicks, come. She fluffs her feathers round, gathering in her
Ben! Oh! Oh! oh ben Benjamin Benjamin Cello. Cello. Welcome back to Penny Whistle Park. It's good to be here. And say hello to my friends. Hi, friends! Hi, everybody! Welcome back! Good to have you here! Benjamin Cello, you're just in time to see our baby chicks! Aren't they cute? Look at mine! <laughs> Ooh, pink lips. But they are adorable. <laughs> Benjamin Cello, look who's here! Oh! Benjamin Cello, mwah, mwah, mon ami! Brother Joseph and the Shadow of His Wings Theater presenting the gospel to children everywhere. We, oui, yes, Benjamin Cello, it is my calling. And it will be wonderful to celebrate this jour de joie, this day of joy with you, my friend. Lady Iris and singer Sydney are bringing the Troubadourables to come see the show. We're expecting them any moment. The Troubadourables, they are a delight. And as a Troubadour myself, it is my great honor to present the story of the passion and resurrection of our Lord to these petite little ones. The Shadow Theater is just the thing to make the story of Jesus come to life. But look, the sun is setting. We must make our preparations. The time is short. Oh, yes, cheerful chums, come help. to get dark. Ah, oh, yes. But this is very good for the shadow puppets. Remember, the story of the passion begins at nightfall. Yes, the story is a somber one. I hope the true adorables don't cry. They're so little. I hope I don't cry. Me too. Oui, yes, it is, it is chanson triste. A sad song we shall sing. But remember, the cross is not the end of the story. That's right, there's Sunday morning. Le dimanche du Pâques, Easter Sunday. That's the day Jesus rose from the dead, right? It is, David. <laughs> oh, the true adorables have arrived! Yay! Oh, hello, everyone. Hello, Lady Iris and singer Sydney. Sydney. <laughs> Here we are at last, Lolly Popular. Oh. Hello, Lolly Popular. Oh, I have exciting news. Oh. Chloe May was able to be here with us. <laughs> oh, welcome, Chloe May. Thank you. We're so excited to see the shadow of his wings in action. Oh, yes, it's sure to bless you. <laughs> Here's our quilt. Oh, yes, let me know. <laughs> Children, settle in and see the greatest love story ever told. How the Son of God gave his life to cleanse us from our sins. Brother Joseph is a master at telling this most beautiful story, which we must all remember. Thank you, Benjamin Cello. Uh, Lolly Popular, would you mind helping me set the stage? Oh, yes, sir. Welcome, everyone, to the passion of our Lord Jesus Christ. Our story begins a few days before Passover. The Holy Scriptures tell us that Jesus knew the time of his suffering was near. His heart was full of grief as he set his face like flint toward Jerusalem. Oh, Jerusalem, oh, Jerusalem, how I long. Her 
like a hen gathers her chicks, like a hen gathers her chicks under her wing. But you would not. Children, listen to the passion of our Lord. It's Thursday at sundown. The Feast of Passover. Jesus and his disciples gather to celebrate in the upper room. According to Jewish custom, as the lamb is brought out of the oven, they shout, there is no God but one. There is no God. And as they eat the meal, Jesus, knowing that he has come from God and is going to God, gets up and begins to wash his disciples' feet. Lord, you will never wash my feet. Peter, unless I wash you, you have no part with me. Lord, wash not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. Do you understand what I have done to you? Do you understand? Do you understand what I have done to you? Do you understand? If I, Lord and teacher, bow to wash your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. You also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have set you an example that you also should do. I have done to you. Do you understand what I have done to you? Do you understand? For if you do, Now, the devil has already put it into the heart of Judas Iscariot to deliver Jesus into the hands of his enemies. Jesus is deeply troubled by this. I tell you the truth. One of you will betray me. John, as 
Ask him who it is. Lord, who is it? It is the one to whom I give this bread that I did. Surely not I, Rabbi. You have said so. What you are going to do, do quickly. Little children, I am with you only a little longer. You will look for me, but where I am going, Peter, you cannot follow me where I am going now. But later you shall follow me. Lord, why can I not follow you now? I will lay down my life for you. Lay down your life for me, Peter? I tell you the truth. Before the rooster crows twice, you will have denied me three times. Even if I have to die with you, I will never deny you. Jesus and his disciples leave the upper room and go to a garden called Gethsemane. Jesus says to Peter, James, and John, Wait here and stay awake with me. My soul is sorrowful to the point of death. Abba, 
Father, let this cup pass from me. Not my will, but thine be done. Not my will, but thine be done. P Peter, are you asleep? Have you not the strength to stay awake one hour? Stay awake and pray not to be put to the test. Abba, Father, not my will, but I be done. Thine be done. Thy will be You can sleep on now and have your rest. It's all over. The hour has come. Now the Son of Man is to be betrayed into the hands of sinners. No, you must get up. Let's go. My betrayer is not far away. Come this way. Show us the man. Where is he? Traitor. We'll get him. Master, master. Judas, do you betray the Son of Man with a kiss? Have you all come out with swords and clubs to arrest me, like you would a criminal? Every day I used to sit within the temple teaching and you didn't arrest me. But this is your hour, when darkness reigns. Jesus is taken to the palace of the high priest. Annas questions him about his disciples and his teaching. Jesus replies, I have spoken openly for all the world to hear. Ask my hearers what I taught. They know what I said. Is that the way you answer the high priest? If there is some offense in what I have said, point it out. But if not, why did you strike me? Meanwhile, Peter has followed Jesus at a distance. He joins a group that sits in the courtyard of the palace, warming themselves by the fire. Aren't you one of his disciples? I am not. Uh, I know you are one of them. I don't know what you're talking about. Why, you're a Galilean. I can hear it in your accent. I tell you, I don't know the man. Peter remembers the words of Jesus, how he would deny him three times. Peter hurries out and weeps bitterly. <laughs> Meanwhile, the chief priests and the entire council are trying to obtain false testimony against Jesus so that they might put him to death. We heard this man say that he would destroy the temple and rebuild it in three days. I place you under oath. Tell us whether you are the Christ, the Son of God. Tell us openly, are you the Christ, the Son of the Blessed One? I am and you will see the Son of Man seated at the right hand of the power and coming on the clouds of heaven. 
What need of witnesses have we now? You heard the blasphemy. What is your finding? Death, 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 execution! Death, death. By now, it is early morning. All the chief priests and the elders of the people have made plans to have Jesus executed. So they bind him, lead him away, and hand him over to Pilate, the governor. Are you the king of the Jews? What is your offense? My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, my followers would have fought to keep me from being arrested. But my kingdom has another origin. So you are a king? You have said it. I was born for this, to testify to the truth. Everyone who loves the truth listens to me. <sighs> what is truth? Pilate goes to the Jewish leaders and seeks to set Jesus free. There is a tradition that the governor will have one prisoner released during the Passover. So Pilate calls Barabbas, a notorious criminal, and stands him beside Jesus. Which will you have, Barabbas or Jesus, who is called Christ? So Pilate takes Jesus and has him whipped. The Roman soldiers tie Jesus to a post and beat him cruelly. 39 lashes. The Romans have a saying, one stroke less than death. The Roman soldiers lead Jesus to the Praetorium, where they clothe him in royal purple and twist a crown of thorns for his head. Then they mock him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews! Then they slap him and spit on him and bow low, making fun of him, pretending to worship him. Once more, Pilate comes out and says to the crowd, And what shall I do with Jesus? I find no fault with him. But what wrong has he done? Shall I crucify your king? We have no king but Caesar! Then Pilate orders a bowl of water and washes his hands, saying, I am innocent of this man's blood. Then Pilate gives Jesus into their hands, and they take him away to be crucified. They lead him to a hill called the Place of the Skull, or Golgotha. Jesus carries his own cross, hardly able to stand. He falls, so the soldiers enlist a passerby, Simon of Cyrene, to help Jesus carry his cross. Crowds of people follow him, and many women who mourn for him. He is crucified between two thieves, one on his right and one on his left. But Jesus prays. Father, forgive them, for they know not Above his head is a sign that reads, Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews. Some who pass by yell at him, saying, Save yourself and come down from the cross. The chief priests and scribes mock him. He saved others, but he can't save himself. Even the thief on his left reviles him. Aren't you the Messiah? Save yourself and us. But the other thief rebukes him. Don't you fear God? We are getting what we deserve, but this man has done nothing wrong. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Truly, I say to you, today you shall be with me in paradise. Now beside the cross stood Mary, his mother, and his beloved disciple, John. Jesus said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. 
Then he said to his disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took Mary into his own family. Beginning at noon, darkness came over the whole land. The sun went black, the earth shook, and the veil of the temple was torn in two. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? I thirst. It is finished. Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Brother Joseph and the Shadow of His Wings Theater have given us a marvelous reminder of how much Jesus loves us, how He wants to bring us to His heart and shelter us under the shadow of His wings, how He suffered and died to cleanse us of our sins, and how He rose from the grave to give us the hope of the resurrection. I love Him so very much, and I know you do too. Until next time. Friends.
friends have the best time together And no matter the weather Friends are friends for forever It's goodbye for now Till we meet again Remember God loves you And so do I so do I, my friend. <laughs>